hey what's up guys firstly i want to say a very big thank you to every one of you because i saw how you responded to my video yesterday the number of likes and the number of subscribers has actually increased guys this is the only thing i'm asking from you all when i upload a video ever before you go ahead to watch that video like the video and share it then go ahead to subscribe if you have not done so and turn on the notification bell also don't forget to comment because i really love seeing your comments it makes me happy so once again i want to say thank you thank you to every one of you let's do the same for every video i will ever upload including this very one so go ahead now and like this video share it comment and subscribe so today we are going to look at shinobi protocol testnet if you're ready i am let's go This article was actually published on the 20th of July. How to participate in the Shinobi second public beta test. I'll go ahead to read out the steps for you. And after that, we'll do the practical aspect of it. Okay, so it says how to participate. One, send secret to Kepler. Now, if you don't have Kepler wallet, you can actually download it from the link in this article. And note that this Shinobi testnet is running on the secret mainnet. Even though it's a testnet, it is running on the secret mainnet. That means you need real money for gas purposes. When they say send secret to Kepler, this is not a testnet secret token. This is the real secret token. Trust you understand that. Then it says send 5 to 10 secret to Kepler. Actually, you don't need 5 to 10 secret. I think one secret will be enough to foot all the gas fees. Two, create BTC wallet and send testnet BTC. Now, the BTC is actually in the testnet. So this is not the real BTC. You don't have to be afraid, okay? <laughs> How do you create the testnet BTC? You can use any of these applications, Electrum, Bitcoin Core, for desktop, BitPay, and Blockstream, green if you're using windows computer then electrum is better for you so how exactly can you set up a bitcoin testnet wallet they have a video right here that you can watch go ahead and click on this link it will take you to a youtube video where you will learn step by step how to set up the electrum bitcoin testnet wallet okay so thirdly once you have your kepler wallet and your bitcoin wallet all set up you can go ahead to click on this link and it will take you to the shinobi testnet application where you're going to do the needful number four it says mint btc to sbtc and release sbtc to btc this is going to make sense later on in this video and finally at the end of this video i'm going to show you how to send your feedback report to their discord community or server look at that there is actually a reward it says we will reward you for your feedback that means your feedback is the most important thing if you participate in this testnet and you don't give a feedback maybe you might lose the reward so ensure you watch this video to the end where i will show you exactly how to send your feedback in their discord server let's go ahead and participate in the testnet we simply click on this link. Here we are in the Shinobi testnet application. It's a connect wallet. Click on connect. Your Kepler wallet is going to pop up for you to do the connection. Approve it. Click on submit. And here you will see that you need to pay a transaction fee to approve the contract. You can go for the average or the low. For me, I am definitely going for the low. Click on that and approve it. Click on submit guys note that there are actually four transactions you need to perform in order to set up this contract so this is going to happen four times don't think that you're making a mistake go ahead to submit and approve every one of them look at that set viewing key three over four this is the fourth one and final transaction for this stage go ahead and approve it as well wallet connected all right click on next 
Take a look here, you will see the details of our upcoming transaction. It says send B2C 0.0001 B2C and you will receive secret B2C 0.0001 S B2C. Then you're going to mint the Shinobi reward. That is 33 SNB. If you look, you will see that it has no value at the moment. Definitely in the future, it will. So click on next, tick this. Then it says view B2C deposit address. You are now going to generate your secret network B2C address. Click on it. Also go ahead to approve the contract. This is actually costing me some funds. Like I told you, this is on the mainnet, even though it's a testnet. Okay, so we have generated our B2C address. You click on this to copy it. Now I am going to my Electron wallet where I have my B2C testnet token. Right here is my Electron wallet. Click on this. This is what the Electron wallet actually looks like. So now I'll go ahead to click on send and enter my secret BTC wallet. Also enter the amount. Remember you are asked to send 0.0001 BTC. And I'll enter just that. I'll hit the pay button and enter my password. You are going to be generating a password once you are creating your Electron wallet that you'll be using for your transactions and for logging into your Electron wallet. Click on send and look at the information payment sent. So you say OK. We minimize this and look at that. Our transaction is pending. This is the hash transaction ID. Copy this transaction hash and keep it saved just in case the transaction fails. You can use it to track your transaction. Now guys, this is where the real activity starts. Why did I say so? This transaction that is pending right now is going to take up to 30 minutes to one hour to go through. So you just have to be patient and see it through to the end. Our Bitcoin has been confirmed. Now we go ahead and claim SBTC. So click on it. Again, we are going to confirm it in our Kepler wallet. Go for the low one and approve it. Claiming is also going to take some time. Wow, this was actually faster. Mint is complete. The next thing we need to do is to release. Remember in the article number four, we are asked to send and also to release. So now we go ahead and click on release. Releasing here simply means we're going to send back our BTC to our Electrum wallet. Okay, click on next and next again. Tick this and click request release. Our Kepler wallet is up again for us to confirm. Go for the low one and approve it. Allow Shinobi protocol to spend your BTC. Of course, low and approve. Approve again. A lot of approvals we need to do. Always go for the low. Approve is saving our transaction ID. Now validating our request. This has to go from zero to 100%. Meanwhile, this is our transaction ID. We can actually copy it and save as well. Our release has been validated 100%. We'll go ahead and click on next. It says release your Bitcoin. So here we're going to withdraw from our secret network wallet to our Electron Bitcoin wallet. I'll simply get my Electron wallet, click on receive, and copy out this wallet address, then close this and paste it right here. Before you click on release B2C, check if you want to go for the low transaction fees or the medium or high fees. I'll go for the low, click on release B2C. Now we're waiting for our Kepler wallet to pop up for us to approve the transaction. Definitely going for low and click on approval. Transaction succeeds. So our release is complete. That means we have done everything we're asked to do. Now we need to see our transaction history and then take a snapshot of that and use it as feedback in the Discord community with our secret BTC wallet and Electrum BTC wallet. So this is where you're going to find your history. Click on this and look at that history right here and look at what we did. First, we minted and second, we released. Take a screenshot of this and head over to the Discord server. When you're in the Discord server, go straight to the feedback for second beta test. Just as you can see, people are already sending in their feedback. Drop the screenshot, drop your secret wallet and Bitcoin wallet address, and you are good to go.
all right guys that is all for this video i hope you enjoyed it please don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you're yet to do that and turn on the notification bell also remember to like this video remember to share this video and remember to comment on this video thank you so much guys i'm definitely going to see you in my next one don't ever forget that we are going to make it bye